Year 5, so for today's science lesson, we're looking at phases of the moon. So this is really interesting. So there are different shapes of the moon. Some of these you'll know. So we've got full moon, a new moon, a crescent and a gibbous. Now I must admit children, the gibbous is a new one on me. So it's sort of the opposite of the crescent. So we've got the crescent there where you can only see a little bit of the moon and then the gibbous where you can see most but not all of the moon. So why does the moon appear to change shape? Well, the moon reflects the sun's light. What part we see of the moon depends on where the moon is when it's orbiting the earth. Here's two terms that you may have heard of. So we've got waxing and waning. Now waning means that we can see less of the moon. So you might be able to guess that waxing means that we can see more of the moon. So gradually we're seeing more of the moon when it's waxing. So in this diagram here, we've got the full moon and then a waning gibbous, a waning half moon and a waning crescent. So remember that's when we're seeing less. And then we get a new moon. And then we get the opposite. So then we get the waxing crescent, the waxing half moon, and the waxing gibbous. And then back round to the full moon. So it goes round like that. So do you know what a blue moon is? There's a couple of different explanations. One says that it's the second of two full moons in a single calendar month. Remember, months are different um, lengths, aren't they? And there's another definition that says a blue moon is the third of four full moons in a single season. So maybe tonight, if it's a clear night or another night, look up at the moon. See if you can work out through the um, times of the different times of the month whether you can look up whether you can name what type of moon we have at the moment you could all do that so a question here at the end that i'm hoping that you'll all know the answer to who was the first person on the moon and i know you're all shouting at the video now and saying neil armstrong on apollo 11 in 1969 so now following this there's something in your pack for you to complete and it's the northern hemisphere moon phases spinner so if you can get that out of your pack i'll show you how that works in a minute so in your pack you should have these two pieces of paper and this which is called a split pin so what you need to do is for this one you need to cut round the big circle there and then you need to cut out this window here that's white and then with this one, you need to cut out the circle. And then you're going to put the blue circle over that circle. Make a hole in the middle with a split pin and pull it aside just like this. So here's one that has been prepared earlier. So you can see the split pin, push it through like that just so that it's safe and it's not going to dig into anyone so then you can use this to see the phases of the moon so we start with one where we get a new moon and then the next phase is the waxing crescent then we've got the first quarter the waxing gibbous and then the full moon so you can use this to identify the phases of the moon and see the pattern that happens every month. And you could also maybe look up tonight or another, on a clear night, have a look at the moon, see if you can decide on here which phase the moon's in. Is it a new moon or is it a waxing crescent? You should be able to use this and look up on a clear night. And then you can see, you can tell everybody the phases of the moon.